My goodness, what was all that banging about? Sorry, I'm just cracking open some macadamia nuts I got on my Hawaii trip. On our wooden chair? Well, I figured it was better than the floor. Look, it works pretty good. Perfect. The other one's split. This one's for you. Do you like to try one? Yes. Quite a bit different from the stuff we get in the stores around here. Very soft. We did quite a bit on our trip. When we first got there, we landed on Oahu, which is what quite a bit of the normal visitors do. We spent the evening in Waikiki on the beach and focused on coastal development issues and some of the land use planning that affects our marine reserves. Bright and early the next morning, we went to the Honolulu Fish Auction. This was quite an experience. We had a tour of the whole facility, learned a little bit about long lining and how they catch the fish and how much the industry is worth. One of the next stops was at the University of Hawaii's Hilo Pacific Aquaculture and Coastal Restoration Center. This was pretty neat. They had an old holding pond from a sewage plantation that they converted into an oyster aquaculture center. We also went to Uncle Robert's Family Aina Farmer's Market. This was a mix of all kinds of stuff. There was a beautiful lava rock beach area with all kinds of vegetation starting to take over and the night market itself was pretty interesting. Lots of food, way more than just Hawaiian local stuff. We also visited the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This was an all-day experience. A lot to take in, a lot to learn, all kinds of neat stuff that we don't get around here. We went through lava tubes, we got to see flowing lava. It was really unique. One of my favorite adventures was snorkeling at Two Step. We got to see a lot of marine fish, sea turtles as you can see here, and plenty of yellow tang. Those was probably the most dominant fish species on the reef that we saw. There was also some parrotfish and some other um, coral herbivores. Unfortunately, most of the coral that we saw was dead. But there were still lots of fish to look at, so kind of deceiving. You think it's pretty and tropical with the fish that you'd want to see, but when you really look down, the coral's all dead. Other than that, this was a very unique experience. Lots of learning experiences. Too much to get into with a quick video. I highly recommend this course for anyone in the ESRM program or that is eligible to go on a trip. Thank you to the ESRM program and to the IRA fund for making this possible. Mahalo.